numbers! Welcome Buccaneers to the Pixel Pirate Plays! This is your host Pixel Pirate and today we're playing a game called Eversion. <laughs> Eversion is a platformer game with a nice little mechanic that you've probably seen before but I think they use it quite well in this game. It is developed by Zara Truster. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm sure there's like a convention where developers go and they think, hmm, what kind of names can we create where Pixel Pirate will just completely fuck it up on his video? And uh, that's what they do all day. And then they go go away and they create uh, whole names with using uh, the alphabet several times over and uh, they're laughing, laughing, laughing at me. Anyway. <laughs> Enough of a rant. Uh, this game, oh god, this game is available on Steam. Uh, it is currently on sale, so it is only two dollars fifty, which is awesome. Normally it's five bucks, so fifty percent off. All right, let's get into it. There's the options. Very simple stuff. Whether you want full screen, whether you want OpenGL rendering, calibrate your joystick, configure your buttons, and delete your save data. That's about it. All right. Go to world one. I've I have deleted all my save data. I did a little bit here and there. So basically, the objective is to get to the end of the level, and also you can uh, you can uh, pick up all the gems. That's sort of an achievement more than anything. So as you can see at the top, I have 22 gems in this level that I should be getting. Now, what makes this game slightly interesting is this part. So you can see the music changes. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, mm, look, lighting. Mm, mm, different. Uh, basically, you got two buttons. You got jump and you got aversion, the aversion button. And when you press that and you're not in an aversion space, it actually shows you where they are. Uh, but if you go in that and the music changes, a mm, bit, bit darker. No, it's a bit lighter, actually. Uh, you press that button and you go into like a different world kind of thing. Now, uh, if I go back, you can see the clouds. I can't jump on the clouds. Which, when I first started to play play the game, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Every platformer lets you jump on the clouds, and there's gems right up there. And then I got to this part, and I'm like, oh, right. Okay. Ah. So you got to sort of jump on the clouds there, and up, and up. There we go. That's how you get those two gems. And then, uh, what else is there? Just want to make sure I get all the gems for the completionists out there. This uh, first level is quite easy anyway, so... Alrighty. Oop. Okay, that one went invisible. I think that's a slight bug. That didn't happen before. Alright, now, if I try and jump over there... Actually, this is a good, uh, good way to show you the death mechanic. So if I jump up... Oh dear, I hit the cloud and just fell in the water. Alright, so you'll notice that after you die, all your gems are still gone. So you've still collected them all. Which is cool. But uh, basically what I needed to do there is I needed to go back, change the world again. So the clouds are in fact clouds. And there's all our gems. And then I can jump over. And that might be a secret there, but I don't see any way I can make it across. Yeah, so it might not be. I don't know. I don't know. Is there any aversion areas? No, it doesn't look like it. And there's the end. So well clear. Yay! Total gems, 222 out of 240. Yay! <laughs> Alright. I don't know quite what my character is. It's uh, like a flower or something. I just... Uh, yes, I am the princess of the flower kingdom. No, she's vanished, sorry. I'm just reading the blurb here on Steam. Uh, my name is ZT. Okay. I guess I'm a flower. If... Uh, oh, crap. If I am, in fact, a part of the Flower Kingdom. It's all very important, this, uh, this kind of stuff, you see. I must know if I'm a flower or what I am. Who am I? What does it... Oh, crap! Okay. So you can play with a joystick, as you might have guessed with the options there. To change or calibrate your joystick. So I'm oh no no that was not not smart. 
Uh, apparently you have unlimited lives. Oh god. <laughs> playing, uh, playing platformers and trying to commentate at the same time is not a good idea, guys. Just so you know. Ah, oh, god. Not that I'm very good at playing platformers anyway. Die, you little munchkin. I'm not sure what they do. No aversion yet. Oh, he, he, no, that's cheating. He just turned around really quick. He didn't even get to the, the bush there. That's cheating. I'm telling. Okay, so, oh yeah, no, I can jump up, up on top of here and get that. Cut. Cut. Oh, didn't think I made that. Right, so that's that. Oh god, I hate small platforms. Oof. No, 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 no! But, uh, start again. Well, at least it's hardcore. He doesn't give you any checkpoints, as far as I can see. But then again, it does uh, keep a score of your gems, so... Ah! Uh, oh. <laughs> I keep going to jump on that cloud and then realising at the last second that I actually cannot jump on the cloud. Uh, and continue my jump onto onto the platform and die horribly. Yeah, so like I said, with the steam sales uh, in the summer, of course, or winter, actually, it's summer here, winter over there. Um, yeah, it will be on sale till January six. So you got plenty of time. Aha, uh -huh, timing. Oh god. The controls are... Oh god. <laughs> the controls are really tight, so I can, you know, do that whole funky thing in the air and uh, there's no double jump or anything like that, unfortunately. Ooh, that was close. Uh, in fact, the only two thing, only two mechanics is jump and aversion, so... Simplistic in that manner, but that's alright. I, I get a bit tired of the constant gimmicky stuff that platformers uh, have them have in them nowadays. I'll give you some some good old Mario 1 and I'm happy. Alright, I'm just going to concentrate here for a second. Oh my god! What am I doing? <laughs> oh god. Someone please shoot me in the face. Oh, jeez. I am determined to finish this damn level. <laughs> oh, pulling out the skills there. Oh, hello. Yay! I'm gonna, like, miss that guy. And <laughs> oh, I'm so upset my headphones fell off. Actually, it does have checkpoints. Well, there you go. It just doesn't tell you where they are. Hmm, interesting. Oh, a version. Hello. So does that mean I have to go all the way back? I can't think if there was actually any... Uh, I'm just thinking, was there any gems back there? There probably was. Oh, that's just not cool. Okay, so does that... Yeah, that keeps you in the world. Right. Ah, I see. It's further on. Oh, jeez. Just walked straight into that one, didn't I? Alright. Okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, at least I got all those gems, though. Come on, yeah, all right, rock and roll. So, do I have to go back? No, I don't think I do. Oh, maybe I do. And I can't. Oh, that's, uh, right. Got it. And we're... What is that guy? Hmm, oh, achievement. Yay. All right, so that's that one. And I didn't get all the gems, so there must be a secret around there somewhere. Hmm, interesting. 
Alright, we'll try this level, and if I die too many times, I promise I'll stop. <laughs> oh god. There was an aversion thing here somewhere. I'll do. There we go! And I have to change it back. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, that's clever. Oh, hang on. No. Oh, how do I do that? Okay. Oh, that's a secret. All right. So you can't kill people. Uh, let's just go back here for a second. Is this? There's nothing here. No, not really. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, another one. Hello. Alright, so I have to go this way, and then... I can't damage that. And the bushes are all good here, so... Oh, I'm stuck. That's not cool. Oh. Ah, uh, okay, so there's actually three worlds. Oh, that's quite good. Interesting. Back through the cloud. No. Here we go. Okay, so you have to make sure you get all the secret bits. Uh, it seems like. Uh. No. Oh, there we go. Okay. It seems like it's only the ones with the faces, but I could have sworn the first one I hit was not one with a face. Alright. Got an achievement for some reason. Ooh, hello. That would help. There we go. <laughs> what are you? You don't look very healthy. Alright. Jump down there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, okay. Just want to uh, make sure this one does not have a gem, and it doesn't. Oh, can't jump on the clouds here. Okay. And you can't jump if there's no room. Uh oh. Are there any aversion areas? Oh, gee, that was clever, wasn't it? And back to the start. Ah, I get it now. Right. So some some aversion areas are only available in certain certain uh, aversion areas, I guess. So I'll show you in a sec. So I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so I can't get through. Oh, yes, okay. Alright. So you change it back to this one. Hang on, hang on. Change it back to this one, right? And you can't. See, there's no aversion area, right? Then you change it here, and there is suddenly an aversion area. Look. And the other two are gone. That's cool. Okay, but how do I... Or is it... Hitting those things? No. Okay, so change that back. And then see, all of them appear again. How cool is that? That's a level of... Uh, dynamics that... Is just not seen in games these days. Yeah, cool. It's very nifty. At any rate, uh, I think I'll end there. Uh, yes, this has been a ver uh, version. You can pick it up on Steam. It is on a 50% sale currently. So it's only $2.49. And well worth the price, in my opinion. If you like platformers and so on. Uh, just change that. And uh, that is about it. So thanks everyone for watching. This has been your host, The Pixel Pirate. And we will see you next time.